today in Galilee an invitation. An invitation to walk on the mountain called Tabor, to visit here the Basilica of the Transfiguration. Inside the church we come across a shining mosaic. Our invitation is for us to pass right through the mosaic and travel back through time. Look, Jesus of Nazareth didn't want any crowds today. He brought only Peter, James and John up here to this mountain, alone. Brilliance. A bright glow of light shines from his face, and like a dazzling white cloud a radiance surrounds him. There, isn't that Moses speaking to him? Moses back to life from long ago? Moses, the giver of the law, do you remember? Moses himself is said to have gone up a mountain, Mount Sinai, and he talked to God there. And when he came down, his face also had glowed with light. And look, isn't that Elijah also there talking to Jesus? Elijah, who usually represents all the prophets. In his days, Elijah too had gone up a mountain and talked to God in silence on top of Mount Sinai. So, in Jesus on this day, the fulfillment of the law and the prophets. And joy. Can you see, Peter is so overcome with joy he doesn't know what he's doing or saying. Light and joy. Jesus' face is shining like the sun and his clothes have become white as light. On the mountain, a dazzling radiance, showing that we can be directly in the presence of an awesome reality, deep and unending, beyond all limits. So what does it say, our invitation of today? It says, approach the Basilica of the Transfiguration, which is inside my own heart, and enter, enter. It says that as the body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, today I am invited to approach the Holy of Holies and to let its door open and to enter into the presence. A pilgrim from the city does some research about the mountain first. And from that she learns something very valuable. She learns not to be attached to the comforts and the traffic of the city. Because of this, she is able to take a little holiday, a holy day. She withdraws from the noisy hubbub of the city and especially from the noisy clamorings of her own mind. She meets a very good mountain guide for the journey, you know, the best. This guide not only knows the way, but is the way. This is my son, whom I love. With him, I am well pleased. Listen to him. I can still hear echoing the words of the prophet Isaiah. He keeps repeating the invitation. Come, let, let us go, go up to the, the mountain, mountain of the Lord. Oh, and then we go back to the city, you know, when we come down after the journey. There we have no choice really but to love and to help those who suffer. Because now we know how close the great Lord of all creation is to every person. And the light and the joy of the mountain, they will wait for us. They can even come back with us. <laughs>